we're doing a recovery today. It turns out this kid started his own rap company, saved and scraped together all of his pennies to buy that Jeep. And he came up here willing with his friends, hit some ice right here, top it on down. It was 11.30 at night and obviously can't see anything, yeah. so I was just stressing like how far are we gonna roll. Yeah. We're gonna walk down there and hook up to it, so let's see what happens. Calling an Uber today. It's a recovery of American Fort Canyon. And so uh, I got a friend, really handsome friend, who's got access to this cool yellow wrecker. And so he's uh, he's driving over to pick up me and you. And there's only three seats in the whole thing, so we're gonna be, you know, we're gonna get to know each other real well today. And we're gonna head down to American Fork, throw the cable in, try and hook this Jeep at the bottom of the canyon, reel it on in, and go home happy. And she just put a sign out, American Fork or bus. We're just hitchhiking today to the next recovery. Tell you what I'm on. Let's see if we get the next guy home. Yeah! I still got it! Nothing will bring you joy like doing that. <laughs> if you're having a bad day, you have a good day, head out to the road, look for a trucker, and just go like this. I tell you what, you'll feel better in a second. Hey, oh, sorry about that. That was uh that was mine on the back of the record before Dave left. You guys want to see something crazy? The sponsor of today's video is Air Up. The reason why this is crazy is because in this water bottle, we've got just regular old water, right? Well, these guys have come up with this bottle along with the special flavor pod, which essentially takes normal water and makes it taste like orangeade, basil lemon, raspberry lemon, watermelon, lime, and a bunch of other different flavors, but they don't add any flavoring to the water. No sugar, no chemicals, just remains straight water. We've posted about them before, and some of you have been like, oh, I don't know about that. It's too good to be true. That probably doesn't work. So I'm gonna do a blind taste test here at the shop to show you guys what people think of this without telling them what to expect. You take the flavor pod, you put it on the spout of the bottle, and then you take a sip. And that tastes just like orangeade, but there's no sugar, no chemicals, no added flavoring whatsoever. My nose is picking up on the scent, which in turn is telling my mouth to taste that flavor. So let's go do a taste test with the guys around the shop to see if this really works or if I'm just blowing hot air. Can we taste this water and let me know what you think? Orange? But it's just straight water. There's test number one, tastes like orange. Wipe this down for you real quick. It's like citrusy. Yeah. Yeah. It's orangey. Yeah. I'd say so. Hmm. Well, that doesn't taste like just water at all. We're gonna go to our final taste test here. It's orange. Orange? Orange. You know, it's just water. Water? Just water. No. Tastes good? Good. Fresh? Yeah. You need to try this for yourself. And between now and December 26th, basically through the holidays, Air Up is gonna give you a chance to get up to 30% off your order. It comes with the water bottle, it comes with the flavor pots, it comes with everything you need to stop drinking boring water. Support Air Up because they support the channel. Click the link in my description below, go to their website, get up to 30% off, and get some of the best tasting water without any of the sugar or garbage right now. Hey, thanks for picking me up, man. Yeah, no problem, dude. I've, I've been there. I think you're gonna really like this lifestyle. Which one, the hitchhiking? Uh, recovery life. Turns out this kid started his own rap company, saved and scraped together all of his pennies to buy that Jeep. And he came up here willing with his friends, hit some ice right here, oh. toppled on down. And his dad was telling me two or three cars go off the same spot every single year. Really? So it's just a tricky spot in the ice. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, 
If you didn't already know, we're doing a recovery today. Surprise. You've been with us like an hour, so it'd be weird if you don't know. <laughs> so we just pulled up to the site here, and uh, you can see this windy mountain road. This is like one of Utah's like, like more popular canyons. A lot of people come up here. And it's steep, and it's narrow, and it's very windy. And we got some snow last weekend, and a young man driving his Jeep went straight off. Um, it's a terrible turn right here. It's got a it's got a pretty sharp turn, and then the road is off camber in the wrong direction. So if you're coming downhill, like it's just a recipe to slide off. So um, it's not too far down there, maybe 50, 60 feet, but. Um, the pull point here is not ideal. We've got this weird road that we're on that we can't really block. And if we do, there's like a blind turn, a car should come around too fast. So um, we're gonna get out here and figure out uh, the best way to get this thing pulled up. Nice. Other one's on the other side. So here's our biggest uh, pickles that we're dealing with right now. This truck does not have a good emergency brake. It's also a manual transmission, so we can't just put it in park. So we have these wheel chocks that are actually chained to the rear bumper. They work really well. So that should give us enough of an anchor to be able to pull without sliding off. We're also kind of out in the road, but there's really no better angle to pull this from than where we're at because otherwise we'll be way too far off the side. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on traffic and make sure you know everybody's watching what's going on. And we're gonna walk down there and hook up to it. So, let's see what happens. Okay, if you're coming off that road right there and rolling a couple times, he, he covers some good distance. What's up, buddy? What's up, how are you guys? Good, it's your Jeep? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Matt. What's this? You go. It's all yours. Oh, yeah, I might need to get in and unlock the steering wheel if you can too. It's not too bad for rolling. Would you roll twice or once? Uh, yeah, at least twice. Okay. Definitely twice. At least. So I hope right now we've got it hooked into the back bumper through your hitch, because uh, that's where your hitch point is. Your bumper's attached to the frame, so it should be solid. Yeah. Should pull your rear right up, straight up and out. Uh, I wouldn't hop in while I pull it, but unlock the steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah, as long as that's unlocking. Go. Yeah, you didn't lose too much. Could have been a lot worse. Oh, yeah, yeah, seriously. I had my girlfriend with me, too, and we obviously rolled past your side, so I just, like, freaked out. Yeah. It was 1130 at night, and obviously you can't see anything, yeah. so I was just stressing, like, how far are we going to roll. Yeah. But luckily, you know. She all right? Yeah, she's fine. Good. She hit her head a little bit, but we didn't got checked out. No concussion, nothing. Cool. So good to know, man. Yeah. I literally just finished wrapping it, tinting it, doing all that. But and then you did some more customizing. Happens. Yeah. Roll a couple times, get some real <laughs> yeah. Jeep look to yeah, it. Yeah, you know? exoskeleton some. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all that means you could do more aftermarket stuff now. Yeah. How's 
it feel, man? Dude, it sucks, dude. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, I just got done doing all my stuff to it. And then uh, the only part of ice on the Alpine Loop right here, we hit, and I was just in two-wheel drive not thinking. So unlucky, we just continued sliding and just went off here. We were lucky enough that, you know, we didn't go off into a bunch of trees and like a whole drop off, but yeah. 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 So take the blocks out. Don't leave the back ones in. Put the other side in. Second. Yeah. Freedom! Yee! Okay! Good work. Actually, Dave, Dave, just let the winch down and unhook it and I'll flip around. Red, red lever. Did you see where the trigger at is up there? Yeah, it's like one mile out. Quick and easy, right? You like it? It's like that. We got it rigged up. We got a low tire, which we may try to hurry and swap out. The spear has a different lug pattern. Yeah, the, yeah, the spear has a different one than this. So, okay. see how it rides. Uh, worst case scenario, we'll go to a flat spot, lift it up, and swap it out. This is uh, three miles on the same road you came in on, I so it's not. The, canyon. Yeah, so okay. it's not that far. Yeah, if it rides fine, then we'll just roll with it. But we'll see what it does. You got a hold of me within like 10 minutes after I, I, I think it was Instagram, Instagram yeah. or Facebook, or whatever. Yeah. And it was like, 
11, he got home at like 11.30, knocked on my door. I'm like, I know something's wrong if he's knocking on my door. And then I was like, well, let's reach out to you know, Diesel Dave. And he's like, who? <laughs> and uh, like 10 minutes later, you're texting me on my number. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so, you caught me right at the right time. Yeah. Happened to be looking down, saw your message come yeah. through. I was like, all right, meant awesome. to be. Yeah. yeah. Better Absolutely. get there and help him out. You guys want a sandwich? We yeah, stopped at Jimmy John's. Really well. Sure, yeah. Yeah. I did the exact same thing to my Jeep when I was 16. Really? Like, almost identical. Almost the exact same damage too, except mine was passenger side. But for you guys to come out like this and help us out, it was really appreciative. Yeah, really nice. cool. yeah. I would turn this into a rock crawler and grab yourself another one. Yeah. Did you have insurance on it? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. This would make an all. So go to the insurance company. They're gonna total it. Have you talked to them yet? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're gonna total it. So do what's called a buyback. They'll they'll sell it back to you for like pennies on the dollar, and then they'll also give you the check to pay for it. So they'll pay you the value, you can buy it back. I'm guessing they would sell this back for a couple grand. You buy it as a rock crawler and then take the check and buy another one and you can put parts and pieces on it. It's still drivable. These things will go, you know, forever. But it's fun to have it as a toy, you know? Yeah, mine was very similar. And all the body stuff is fixable. This is just, you gotta get a whole new roof for it. So I would just grab another one and it's like your bumpers and everything all held up. So move that stuff around. It literally do like almost the exact same thing on mine. Tipped on the side, smashed up this whole side, but I was young, I didn't have insurance, I couldn't afford to buy another one, so I just put a window in it and drove it the rest of the high school all beat up. And even a roof on these old Cherokees, you could find one, you could put replace the body, keep this, but depending on what the insurance says, I think that's gonna determine kind of yeah. what you do. I think your front suspension here might have got pushed back a little bit. I think it just looks much worse than it really is, you know? Build yourself a rock crawler, be your first rock crawler, yeah. dedicated yeah, to it, yeah. you know? This is a sweet oh, shot, man. Yeah. Ultimate man cave here. <laughs> cool. So, kind of like what you guys were doing with the cars, if I gave a 31 rat rod away last year, a 65 GMC truck, oh, really? a Harley Sports are away. Cool. My grandson loves this one, it's electric. Oh, so, he just home. zips around yeah. the whole backyard and. I like that brick veneer. Yeah, I actually made all that. Yes. Oh, you did? Yeah, this is yes. from. Uh, uh, loads. So then I took uh, like spackle, put it over there, and did different colors to make it look like old brick. Yeah, good job. Thank you. I like this man. You did a good job in here. Is that one of you guys right like there? Hey, yeah, right there. Nice. Yeah. I didn't win the truck, but I got it. <laughs> I got the t-shirt. Next best thing. That was cool. Well, thank you for sharing with us, yeah, guys. I appreciate that. Well, good luck. Yeah, and I told uh, Diesel Dave, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I told him already. I own a vinyl wrap, uh, vinyl and tint shop in Orem. Oh, you do? Infinium Customs right there. So if you guys need anything, I got you. Okay, cool. cool. You guys do wraps? Yeah. Yeah. Wraps and I have you come do some uh, graphics or decals on one of our helicopters. Yeah, definitely. That'd be awesome. You got your number. And you yeah, I, I haven't watched your guys' videos, but I'm a fan now. So. Cool, man. I'll I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. But, yeah, appreciate it. Thank, thank you, man. Appreciate it.